Okay, y'all, my spring porch is finished. I'm super excited to show you to you guys. It's actually much more simple than I have done in the past. Um, if you've seen any of my Halloween or Christmas porches, they're ridiculous, but I kept it a little bit more simple and clean for this spring. I really just wanted a beautiful, fresh start. Um, I utilized um, some things that I had, and then I brought um, bought a few new things as well. And so let me show you guys. Okay, as we approach, I have one of the spring fairy gardens that I created this year. 
Um, I did a video on this guy. Love the palette of the purples and pinks and whites. Super fun. And in that same video, I also did this really fun kitchen sink uh, planter and I filled it with blue bonnets. And at the time when I planted it, the blue bonnets were not blooming, but check those out now. The idea was to do a lot of blue blooms in this so that it would kind of resemble water. You can see the whole kitchen sink with the faucet, fabulous. And then this area up here, I've always had this old bench I got here. Love it, the pillows I already had, the lemon cypress I already had, this metal grate I had too. I always put the pillows somewhere around here so that I can cover up this unattractive outlet. This guy is new this year. Picked this design up from Home Goods. Thought it was super fun. I think it will carry me through spring and summer. It's basically driftwood with um, wooden beads and then the raffia wrapped kind of wreath form. Super fun. Looks a little bit like an Easter egg, so it does have a little bit of a nod to um, Easter. And then here's one. Oh, let me fix that. Here's my new wreath that I made, which I also have a video up about that, made out of macrame, sola flowers, which are um, flowers made from bark of trees and moss. And then I tied in these two lanterns. I already had the largest lantern, and so I purchased the smaller one this year. I already had the candles, and then I already had the moss and the sola flowers left over from the wreath design. So I went ahead and filled these up these are battery operated candles that are set on timers. So they will come on in the evenings when it gets dark. This look great. And then over here is the seating area. And I repurposed the two plastic Navy Adirondack chairs that I already owned. I did put new cushions on them. The cushions are from Home Goods. I went with this kind of natural texture and then a simple clean white pillow with a natural border to tie into the seat cushion. And I thought those would really pop against the Navy chairs. I did give the Navy chairs a really good scrub down um, from the winter. You should always do that with your patio furniture so it lasts longer. And then I have this center table, which I already owned, it's all tile. And I put two more cypress, lemon cypress on here because I thought that would tie in really well to the one on the bench. And then of course, my reclaimed mirror that I have here year round. I love the reflection. I know it's super weird when uh, uh, to think that I have a mirror on my patio, but it just looks so good and it fills the space beautifully. And sometimes I'll put a hook and do a beautiful wreath on it. I just love it. And then the new spring planters that I created using the salmon. Um, these are actually um, La Belle Epoque tulips, which are looking beautiful. Diamond Frosty Forbia and some pink tulips, oh, excuse me, petunias. And they're actually dripping right now because they're on drip. And then I have the matching one on the other side. So pretty. <music> for joining me for this spring porch makeover. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Every time you subscribe, every time you hit that notification bell, and every time you leave a comment, it helps my channel grow and it allows me to bring you guys more videos. As always, she's a mad gardener, or in this case today, a decorator, or anything else that she wants to be. Thanks y'all. Yeah.